Hi grade fours, I'm quickly going to explain to you what you have to do for 18 June in s &T. Today we're going to compare the strength of hollow pillars. Okay, remember we did hollow pillars two, two weeks ago and we're going to test them today. And remember we've learned about how to do a, a fair test, so this test must also be fair. Okay, so let's quickly look a uh, starter. How can you make sure that you carry out a fair test when you do an experiment? Now quickly think back. We've learned last week about a fair test. What can you do to keep a test fair? Yes, test everything in the same way. Okay, otherwise it's not fair. Okay, so here is the experiment that we are doing. Um, I did the experiment in class. Uh, test and compare the strength of hollow pillars, so that's the test that we are doing. Look at the experiment below and answer the questions that follow. Okay, so here I did, and the experiment is see how many textbooks each pillar can hold. So I did it with an A4 paper and I made a triangular pillar, I made a square pillar, and I made a circular pillar. I did it all with the same type of paper and the same size and the same cello tape. Okay. And I used the same textbooks to make the test fair. Okay, so here is the triangular one and it couldn't even hold one textbook. It immediately collapsed. Same with the square pillar. It immediately collapsed. It couldn't even hold one. So it's zero for triangle, zero for square. Okay, and then here at the circular pillar, uh, it went up to three textbooks, but when I added the fourth one, it collapsed. So the circular pillar could hold three textbooks. So it is triangular, zero, zero, three. Okay, so let's quickly look at the questions. First, complete, copy and complete the table. So you're going to draw this table in your book, and then you're going to answer the questions. Okay, number of textbooks supported by the pillars. Now, you have to look at the picture and then you decide how many books could the triangular pillar hold, how many books could the square pillar hold, and then how many books could the circular pillar hold. Okay, then question two, which shape pillar can support the heaviest load? Number three, what did you find out in this investigation? So the investigation, we wanted to see which pillar is the strongest. So what did you find out in this investigation? And then number four, was this a fair test and give a reason for your answer? Okay, so nice, easy, short activity and I hope you enjoy it. And then I will see you next week. Can't wait. Okay, plenary, let's quickly check. Uh, you only answer verbally. Name one structure in our daily lives that is an example of a circular pillar. Now think about big buildings that is in a circular pillar. Try and think of some examples. Okay, here is some, but there are many more. Uh, you get silos, water reservoirs, power station chimneys, a pillar in a wind turbine, and many, many more. See if you can find another one. Okay, that is your work. See you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.